Hi, you've reached Mercury, god of communications. Travel, and a little of everything. I'm on vacation, leave a message after the beat. The mailbox is full and cannot receive any more messages. Goodbye. Hello, my dotlings. Today we're going to talk about Mercury Retrograde. And I started this script during the last Mercury Retrograde, which seems like a lifetime ago, but was only most of June. So I'm going back, I've cleaned up the script, and uh, decided to include the packing I'm doing for a trip that's been cancelled twice. That's all a very apropos, and let's talk about why. Hey ladies, Mercury Messenger God here, but you may know me by my Greek name Hermes, god of a vast array of random things like commerce, travel, guiding the dead, protecting herds, and floral delivery. I'm a big fan of working hard and playing harder. Just ask my brother Apollo. Yeah, I stole all his cows, but I gave most of them back, and I also gave him a lyre. They're like a guitar only cooler. That was like day one, so we're cool now. They even named a planet after me. So, it stands to reason that a guy like that would value his time off like three times a year and much like when the one co-worker who knows how to make the fax machine do the thing goes on vacation so does what little sanity I have left actually I was the co-worker who knew how to work the fax machine. Well, plenty of warning, I mean... Mercury goes into retrograde... like clockwork. A big... astronomical... clock. Here's an old guy to explain more. The Earth... is round. It also goes... Around. In fact, all planets go around the sun. But they do not all go at the same speed. In fact, Mercury is much closer to the sun, so it goes much faster. It's all, but it's only approximately 88 Earth days. When Mercury laps, an optical illusion is created. In fact, it appears from here on Earth, where most of us live, that Mercury is moving backwards in the zodiac. After you like, share, and subscribe, I suggest you check out some of the videos in the description for more detailed description of the astronomical event. Let's do a little social experiment here. Pause the video, and go down to the comment section, and tell me how your Mercury retrograde is going. I'll leave you an interlude. Welcome to the interlude. This is the interlude. We're having an interlude. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe during the interlude. Now this is the end of the interlude. Whee! Yes, we are completely ignoring confirmation bias because it doesn't explain why the weird stuff happens before I know the Mercury retrograde's going on. Like, not average stuff. What's with this pre shadow, post shadow crap? Well, the astronomical reason is that my planet seems to slow down before it actually goes into retrograde. 
And then when it starts to write itself, it takes a minute to get back up to speed. Think about it. Haven't you ever dragged ass before you went on vacation? And then when you get back, you got a hard time getting in the swing because you got a brand new pile of crap on your desk to deal with. And the fax machine is just spitting out a bunch of BS because nobody checked it while you were gone. What's with the chick in the dress? A lot of blood, sweat, and money went into that get-up. And it's got, like, stars on it. So I'm going to get as much use out of it as I can. What's with... Why is the crap that happens so stressful and weird? Yeah, you know, some of it's just stuff I want dealt with before I have to come back to work. And some of it I just think is funny. Look, I'm kind of digging the deep voice, but do I have to keep wearing this breast binder? If you're going to take this drag thing seriously, you need practice. And the boobs, give it away. So besides figuring out how to put that thing on correctly, what can we do to sort of mitigate the disaster? You could do the crap that you've been putting off since the last time I went on vacation. Or you could learn to laugh a little. Where are you going, anyway? Wow, that makes you sound like an asshole. I am actually going to New Orleans. Hopefully I'll come back with some great content. We'll see how that goes. What about the people who have major things go wrong during a Mercury retrograde? Number one, there are a lot of other planets in play, not just mine. Number two, the crap I pull is mostly either lighthearted fun or brings up something you've already got to deal with. Number three, how would you feel if somebody called you about work on your vacation? I'm going to bet you're not going to be too helpful. I have received mail in my previous last name every pre-shadow for the last two years. One time it was a bill for the house that I lived in before from a year after I had moved. Had to get it cleared up. It was, I mean, it, it did get cleared up without having to pay anything, but it was a rigmarole. It has not escaped me that I am going on a trip that will be ending the first day of the post shadow. Okay, so here's the big takeaway don't give yourself more work by starting something new. Go back and finish what you've already started and get a reading from Dottie the Psychic. And if you do all that, you should be all right. <sighs> Wish me luck. Check out my Patreon. Safe travel and much profit to you.